Today, surgeries resumed at Porter Adventist Hospital in Denver. They were halted a week ago after two separate issues were discovered that potentially compromised the safety of surgical equipment. Kelly Worthman, live at the hospital. And Kelly, you got some clarification today about those safety issues. That's right, Dom. We learned that the surgeries were halted because of mineral residue from water inside the machines where those instruments are cleaned. It's a completely separate issue from the sterilization breach that has thousands of surgery patients on edge. I was pretty darn horrified. It's been more than a week since Jill Rear Dance learned she may be at risk for hepatitis and HIV. That is very scary. I've got little grandkids that I play with. It's like, do I play with the kids now? Jill had knee replacement surgery at Porter Adventist Hospital last year and later developed an infection. Doctors still cannot explain why. She's worried it could be from inadequately cleaned surgical instruments. The staff that was specific to orthopedics and spine um, their their pre-cleaning processes were just not as robust. As the hospital has suggested to nearly 6,000 worried patients, Jill called Porter's hotline, hoping to get some answers. His response was like, yes, I'm your point of contact, but we don't really have any information for you right now. Jill also took Porter's offer of a blood test, but results could take upwards of four weeks. It's a very stressful situation. I want to apologize um, to our patients. They put their trust in us, and obviously we have an opportunity to improve. Even with the hospital's apology, Jill isn't so sure she'll ever go back to Porter for any kind of treatment. Um, I would have to stop and think about it. Well, since the sterilization issue was found to be a human error, staff here at Porter Adventist Hospital are being given more training. And we have more information on both of these issues at CBSDenver.com. Reporting live in Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Kelly, thank you.